Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to AM Yoga Moves. My name is Anne Marie, and today uh, this video is going to be talking about Satya. And as those of you may know, if you've watched my other video on Intro to Yama and Niyama, well, they are the ethical principles and foundation of yoga as described by Patanjali, who is the founding father of yoga as we know it today. Okay, so I'd like to provide you with this, you know, food for thought regarding Satya before we get on our mats and do this first asana class, which is going to be themed around Satya. Okay, so Satya means truth and honesty and basically refers to in the most fundamental and basic way uh, is that as yoga practitioners, we should be thriving to be true uh, in action, behavior, and also in our speech. As well, we should be trying to embody um, our belief system, should be coherent with our actions, our behavior, and what we say as well. Uh, I was listening to Laura Golner, who is the author of the Yoga Focus Method. You can check her out on YouTube as well. She's very interesting. And so she was, you know, sort of, I liked what she did because she was talking about what it may feel like for one that it's not, that is not living on the path of truth of Satya, um, that it, it, it probably feel very exhausting because you feel like you're always trying to play a part and, you know, thinking about what you should say, what you should do, or not being genuine or authentic. And uh, so if that is how you feel, well, um, definitely uh, take a look into that truthfulness um, to say, hey, you know, what am I doing? What am I, what I'm saying? What I'm living? Does it make, is it aligned with those values, my inner values and what I really truly feel inside? So, um, yeah, another person I really liked uh, listening to is um, Swami Kirunanda from the Sachidananda Ashram in Yogaville, California. Um, so she's been living on the ashram for years, since the 70s. And I really felt when I was listening to her that she embodies uh, and, and she's just such a devotee and she's very dedicated to the yoga practice. Um, so I also suggest that you, you, you check her out. But in one of her videos, she was talking about the Bhagavad Gita. So the Bhagavad Gita is, you know, kind of like the Bible of yoga, the most traditional piece of important piece of literature that any yoga practitioner should come into contact with at one point in, in their uh, journey. <laughs> and so she was describing the four qualities of your speech, of one's speech, um, according to the Bhagavad Gita. So your speech, so our words, what we say should be non-harmful, truthful, pleasant, and also beneficial. And she was mentioning um, that if one cannot sort of make sure that what he or she says includes those four qualities, you should try to rephrase it. And if not, you should abstain from talking, okay? And I find that very difficult because, you know, sometimes, you know, we just want to vent about something. We want to, you know, we maybe we like to gossip a little bit. And so in accordance with those th four principles, you can't do any of that. So... It, be, it becomes tricky, um, but I, I, I still find it interesting to share that with you. And, you know, just anatomically speaking, we have two ears and we have one mouth. And Swami Kerunanda was also saying, you know, it's like you have a mouth and it's gated by your lips, by your teeth. And so you should, that's kind of like, even on a physical level, really showing us that we should think three times, four times before, before talking. And so I think that that's a really important principle um, when we think about truth, okay? So what, what we're saying, does it have those four qualities? If we um, 
turn this uh, oh and there's one more thing before we go on the, the mat portion of the uh, of the satya is also the fact that sometimes truth is not tr all truths are good to be told so those four principles that I just mentioned you know is it beneficial sometimes things even though they are the truth are better left unsaid um, yeah okay so on the mat um, what that translates into is throughout this class that I'm going to be uh, guiding this practice I would like you to ask yourself the question when you're doing the postures from what perspective are you doing them are you doing them in a perspective to impress uh, the person that's maybe standing next to you on their mat are you over pushing yourself you know uh, for example the teacher goes into this huge back bend but you you know you, you know that your body you don't feel like your body should be going there but you overdo it um so I will invite you throughout the class to do the various postures uh, from a place of, of truth and to really give yourself what your body and your soul, what you need. Give yourself what you need, really. Like, are you doing a power yoga class just because, you know, I got to lose weight, I got to be this way, I got to be in good shape? If what you really feel that your body needs is to relax and you know we always know deep inside what we really need and what is the truth so um, to practice to just really follow that and give yourself that that gift um, if we look at the chakras which are um, the various you know central energy points um, throughout our body the chakra that would be associated with truth, and I really like, love the tutorial that Laura Goler gave on this, would be our throat chakra because that's where you know the ego comes out. That's from where we speak, and the lies come out, and then having to cover our tracks and all of those things. Um, so when your throat chakra is clear, you know you're better able to receive critique, uh, feedback. You're not as guarded, you're not as sort of defensive. So we're going to do, be doing a few postures that are going to be um, helping this throat area. Um, in terms of breathing exercises, so pranayama, I'm going to be introducing you to a lion's breath. And uh, you're going to see that's the first time I ever had to do that. I couldn't stop laughing. So it's a very, very liberating posture. Very good for relaxing the jaw, the throat muscles and um, just gives you an incredible sense of freedom if you really just commit and you do it. So I will be introducing the lion's breath to you. And uh, I will also be um, providing a series of poses that are quite challenging that we're gonna be holding for a while. So just to really uh, allow you to play with that uh, limit. And if for whatever reason you feel at any time when you feel like you need to back off, do less of the posture or take a break um, to also check out how your ego is reacting to that. So that should be very interesting for you. And that's part of the yoga. It's not, also, it's not just the postures, it's what's happening and what's happening in the mind, what's the mind gain that's happening there uh, to really take a look at that and to get your know, to know yourself better. And uh, the mantra, oh yes, so the mantra that goes with truthfulness is Satnam, okay? So Satnam means I am truth. And as I've described in my other video on intro to Yama Niyama, the ultimate goal of a yoga practitioner is to discover one's true self, which is unity, which is equanimity. It has no boundaries, it has no limits. Uh, and and that is so that's it. So satnam. And a mantra that goes well with satnam is just to unify both of your hands, interlace your fingers, release the index. If you're a woman, you cross the left thumb over the right, and if you're a man, you can cross it the other way around. And just to point your index fingers at the sky. And to repeat yourself, Satnam, Satnam. <laughs> okay? 
So I think that we've kind of covered um, the fundamentals. I, you know, we could go on for ages talking about this each yama. It's very, very interesting, all of this, these, this ethical system around the yoga. I hope it's interesting to you as well. So I'm going to meet you shortly on the mat. So make sure you prepare your blocks, a strap if you have one, or any other props that you feel you may need to help you um, throughout the practice. And uh, I will meet you in a bit to do this wonderful class on Satya. Namaste.